In this sketch, we'll cover the neurodegenerative disorder known as Rett syndrome. Back to the sketchy mountains we go for some ski lessons. Yes, my friends, yours truly has decided to hop on the bunny slopes with pride so I can someday die a slow and painful death on the Black Diamonds. Thankfully, you won't be seeing me bust out my tricks anytime soon. Anyways, what do we need to know about Rett syndrome? Well, one, it always occurs in females because males usually die in utero or shortly after birth. We'll make every character in the sketch female to help remind you of this. Two, it's usually inherited in an X-linked dominant pattern, depicted by the domino pattern X skis. And three, most cases are caused by sporadic mutations in the MECP2 gene. Hit the slopes with these Megacorp 2 brand skis to help you remember MECP2. Rett syndrome is divided into four stages. In stage one, which begins approximately six months following birth, infants start losing verbal, cognitive, and motor skills they previously acquired. Let this sign for infant ski lessons six months and up remind you that Rett babies develop normally up until about six months old when they begin to regress. Parents and caretakers will usually tell the pediatrician that their child hasn't babbled as much, struggles with crawling or walking, or just looks floppy. They might specifically mention that their child can't sit up without assistance, like this girl struggling to get her skis back under her. Then stage two, called the rapid destructive phase, occurs in children between one to four years of age. These kids lose purposeful movements of their hands and shortly thereafter develop repetitive, stereotypic movements like hand wringing, squeezing, tapping, washing, rubbing, or clapping. Ugh, it's cold out here. Cold enough to freeze your breath. Children with Rhett may also have breathing problems. The girl with the tiny head will help you remember deceleration of head growth, another characteristic finding. Furthermore, patients may exhibit autistic-like behaviors like toe walking, rocking, teeth grinding, and communication problems. We use this infinity symbol to illustrate autistic-like behaviors. How do you differentiate between Rett syndrome and autism spectrum disorder? Remember that regression is the main distinguishing feature of Rett syndrome, and not typically seen in ASD. In stage three, AKA the pseudo-stationary phase, apraxia is a key finding. If you, like me, have trouble keeping your axia straight, apraxia is when you can't execute or carry out purposeful learned movements. Ataxia, which is a more general unsteadiness, and seizures are also seen. Well, maybe I'm not so bad after all. That clumsy little girl's got nothing on me. Finally, we've arrived at stage four, the late motor deterioration stage. The main features are scoliosis, reduced mobility, muscle weakness, increased rigidity, and abnormal posturing. Dang, that girl looks scared stiff. Maybe because somebody gave her those squiggly pulls? All right, let's quickly wrap up this sketch before my ears freeze. Rett syndrome is an X-linked neurodegenerative disorder that always occurs in females. Most cases are due to sporadic mutations in the MECP2 gene. Rett syndrome is characterized by a normal period of development followed by regression of motor, verbal, and cognitive skills starting six months after birth. The clinical findings include hypotonia, stereotypic hand wringing, breathing problems, slow head growth and growth failure, autistic-like behaviors, apraxia, ataxia, seizures, scoliosis, reduced mobility, and increased rigidity.